Excuse me. Uh... Ah! Oh, Adam! What? What is this? What is this grotesquery? Where's Tom? Tom who? Oh, shut up. I don't want to hear a word out of you. Brooke, where is Tom? Tom left early this morning. Why? What is happening? What is this creature doing here? What is going on, Phoebe, is that you have done me the greatest favor of my life, and I thank you, dear lady, from the bottom of my heart. Do you a favor? I would rather roast on a spit in hell for all eternity before I do you a favor. And, furthermore, you've given Brooke and Tom a chance to come to a clear understanding about how they feel about each other. If they had come to a reasonable understanding, Tom would still be here. Brooke, you and Tom were destined for each other. And Phoebe, even destinies run their course. It's over, and each of us is involved with someone new. Well, then each of you is making a sap-headed mistake. I'm beginning to resent this, Phoebe. Oh, be quiet. Brooke, if you think this man is right for you, you're harboring a death wish. I am not going to discuss this with you. My relationship with Adam has nothing to do with you. Well, you made plenty of mistakes about men in your youth, and you're still making them. Adam, tell me, how did you discover that she was up here? It was a divining rod, actually, a, a little willow twig that stuck one leg in the ground, the other one went boing and pointed right to Willow Lake. I swear. I will not be toyed with by the likes of you. Toy with you, Phoebe? Heaven for Finn. <laughs> oh, one final word of warning. I have tried everything in my power to reconcile you with the man who is right for your life. But you are determined to self-destruct. So be it. But let me tell you, young lady, Adam Chandler will bring you nothing but misery, nothing but misery. I've known for some time that I'm in love with you, Brooke. Just couldn't think of the right time to tell you. Had no idea it'd be up here. But now that I'm said it, I'm so Glad. Are you sure it's not just the fresh air? <laughs> All that oxygen getting no, to your no. brain? No, I am head over heels mad, wild, crazy, in love with you. And <laughs> I'm thrilled about it. It happens to be the most important thing in my life. I'm speechless. Yeah, that'll be the day. <laughs> Come on, what, what, uh, what are you thinking? Well, <clears throat> I am a little overwhelmed. Hmm. You're still vain enough to think that uh, you might care about me. I hope so, anyway. You know it. I don't expect you to feel as strongly as I do. I don't, of course not. It's a piece of cake to fall in love with a woman like you. It's no easy thing to fall in love with Adam Chandler. Don't you think I know that? It might not be as hard as you think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Keep talking. <laughs> oh, Adam. I care very much about you. And our relationship has come to mean more and more to me. I... I really love working with you. Mm -hmm. And I enjoy it when we're not working. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I even enjoy arguing with you. And I miss you when I haven't seen you for six and a half hours. <laughs> how, did, how did you come to six and a half hours? I clocked myself. <laughs> and does your heart skip a beat when I enter the room? Don't rush <laughs> me. I'm glad you told me. 
I'm so glad. I mean, it just, it suddenly makes, makes me feel good about life and about us. Then there's hope. Yes. But I have to be honest with you. No, no, you don't. Not on my No, I have to no. be honest because this... <laughs> it sort of takes my breath away because we, <laughs> we are two people who seem to have been meant for anyone but each other. Nonsense. I knew we, we were right for each other the first time I ever laid eyes on you. Is that so? Is that why you had me fired from WRCW? Well, I was, I was playing hard to get. Um, and... <laughs> You were carrying on with that French acrobat or the juggler. What the hell was he? You know, I mean, it showed very questionable taste. <laughs> you speak to me of taste? You married Erica. <laughs> yeah, well, it was a momentary digression. Huh? <laughs> oh, don't quote me, but... Life is strange sometimes. I mean, here we are. We're two very unlikely people. And we're sitting in a cabin in the middle of a lake, and we're talking about our relationship. Mm. I think this has been a great day. I think it will go down in history. Why don't we make it perfect and spend the night up here? <laughs> Mrs. Gurney is going to make you a really nice supper, and then you can, you can watch a little TV. Okay? All right. You have a good night's sleep, and I'll see you tomorrow. I love you, honey. All right. Bye-bye. Well, there's no problem about staying tonight. <laughs> Wonderful. Happy? Oh, yes. <laughs> How about you? Delirious. <laughs> and uh, a little surprised. That I'd stay? Oh. It's a wonderful, lovely idea. I was thinking of Phoebe's gypsy curse. Forget it, all right? Forget it. You're too sensitive. She could turn you against me. And Phoebe doesn't know what she's talking about. When she criticizes you, she's talking about a man that she remembers from years ago, and that's not the Adam Chandler that I know. I know a man who is, who is strong, but gentle, who is determined, but loving. That's the man that I know. I would do anything to make you happy. You've come a long way, Mr. Chandler. Thanks to you, lady. Yes. But will you respect me in the morning? I respect and love you more every minute. about this for so long I can't believe it's actually happening. Oh, how I've wanted you. Well, I've wanted you too. You could have fooled me. I know, I know. I try to hide it from myself. I'm so glad you persisted. I couldn't give up. I knew somehow eventually it'd be worth all the frustration and waiting. I'm tired of waiting. Oh, oh. 
I don't hear a thing. I don't hear I, a thing. No, listen, it might be about Laura. Let me, let me, just, I'll, I'll be real quick, okay? Just don't real be quick. <laughs> Hello? Yes, it is. Oh, hi. Uh, yes, he's here. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait just a minute. I can't, I can't understand what you're saying. Y yes, yes, he's here. He's here. It's, it's Stuart. He's, he's crying. I, I can't understand what he's saying. Stuart? No, wait, call, calm down. I can't, I can't understand. Just tell me what's happening. Look, hold on. I'll be there as soon as possible. This guy, she's been in a bad wreck. She's very badly injured. The high level of alcohol in her blood is working against her. What? Poor Sky, what's going on? Well, right now we're trying to get her body fluids up so that she'll be ready for surgery. Surgery? Why? What kind of surgery? For internal hemorrhaging. Well, you, you please tell me what the hell's going on. I couldn't make any sense out of what Stewart said. Where is Stewart anyway? Stewart's still at the chapel. He, he just couldn't face you, Adam. He feels very guilty. Why? What did he do? Nothing, really. He just feels that he could have stopped her from getting in the car. He didn't know where she'd gone when she left. She'd been drinking heavily. Why, 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 why was she so upset? What'd you say to her, Tom? You must have done something to upset her. What the hell did you do to her? Crash cart, Stad! Come on, let's go! Go, go! 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 I'll get the alcohol, Come on, Sky. No response. Come on, don't give up on me now. Come on. No response. Sky, come on. Well, there must be somebody who can tell me what's happening. I'm sorry. Go. Stop. All right, we, we got a heartbeat back, and it's regular. Also, her pressure is finally increasing, so we think that very soon now we can get her into surgery. Who's operating? I want your best man, Joe. You got him. Jeff is scrubbing now. He's going to have a top team assisting him. Believe me, Adam, Sky is going to get the very best possible treatment. All right, Cuddy, why don't you tell me what you said to her now? Hey, you're not going to lay the blame on me for this. You did something to upset her. She doesn't get drunk and jump in a car and drive it down the road. That's not what... No! It's... You tell her you're through with her? You tell her that you were, you've been playing with her like some Please, toy? Come on, come the on. hell I have. All right, all right, calm down, all right? She happened to find out that Brooke and I spent the night at Willow Lake and she jumped to the wrong conclusion. Why didn't you explain it to her? I did my damnedest. I went over there twice to talk to her. She refused to see me. According to, according to Stuart, she thought I was on my way over to tell her that Brooke and I were back together and she had trouble dealing with that, Adam. And I have not been playing with her feelings. And you know... Better than anybody, that nothing happened between Brooke and me. I'm sorry, I, I, lost my I lost my temper. I just don't know what I'm going to do if I lose her. Well, neither do I. Joe, she looks pale. Is she, is she losing ground? She's stable enough for surgery, and that's what counts. We've got to get in there to stop the internal bleeding. Sky, listen to me. You've got to hang on. You're, you're my daughter, damn it. you got what it takes to hang in there. So just don't let go. You hear me? I love you. Sky. Don't you leave me now. I need you, Sky. And you come back to me.